Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridge Tech with another product review, this time from Blitzwolf. Now this is their BW-KS1 Bluetooth speaker system. Now this is what they call a small compact karaoke party speaker. Also comes with a wireless microphone. Alright, so now we'll zoom in here. And as you can see, comes with a built-in battery, uh, 4800 milliamp, so that should give you some really good run time on this. Again, this is their little compact 20 watt karaoke speaker, so let's wait no further. Let's open this up and see what's in. Okay, I went ahead and opened it already. We'll open up everything that it comes with here. Comes with a USB charging cable, remote control, looks like a shoulder strap here as well as a manual. We'll look over the manual in just a sec. Here's the included wireless microphone. And we'll go ahead and take the styrofoam out here. Speaker all the way out. There's nothing else down inside. And we'll lower the camera here a little bit so you guys could see it. And it's not that heavy actually. Kind of nice design here. You can see the six inch woofer. Also, you can see the tweeter there, as well as a base port there. This is an LCD display. There's the Blitzwolf here. There's for the straps. Nice carrying handle on here. Really nice. You can lean it over to the side if you want, like that. Pretty nice. And you got your controls here on the top, as well as the power button on the back. Really nice ABS plastic, so it's going to be able to handle that, carrying it around, banging it around a little bit here. Got some rubber feet on the bottom. Nice steel screen mesh that is really nice feels good all right so now let me get a little bit better camera angle here and we'll go over some more of these features okay so now we're going to go ahead and zoom in here a little bit you've got a one quarter inch mic input here you got the charging port as well as a auxiliary input you got a micro SD card slot here as well as the USB now here you have your mic volume you have your echo control separate bass and treble and you have your master volume control here you have your mode switch as well as your rewind or next song you also have your play and pause here you also have your files, so if you have your music and files, you can click through the files. And usually I number my files from 1 to 100. So you'll be able to easily go through uh, the folders there. Now you also have a feature here where you can record on a blank micro SD card or USB. So if you do have one in there, you can record whatever your uh, playing through including your music and your live mic and you also have a button here where you can turn on the very front here has an LED light bar so that's pretty interesting and that's everything explained on the top of the unit again power switch is on the back which is a lever type so that's pretty nice okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, concentrate here on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on where we can see it here. As you say it's on auxiliary. 
I did charge it a little bit earlier when I was playing it a little bit. Now you can remove this to make the LCD a lot clearer and easier to read. Now it does show you that it is on auxiliary. It also shows you your battery level, which is really nice. And with that, we're going to go ahead and go through the modes, just so you can see it here on the screen. I'm going to make sure I got the right button here. And then you have Bluetooth there. You have the radio. Now, if you had an SD card in here, it would load that automatically. Now, the radio stations, I noticed it doesn't do too well indoors, but it did do pretty good outdoors. So, it does work. And then you have, again, get right back to auxiliary. So, now let's go ahead and put a little SD card in here. And let's do some sound tests, see how this sounds. Okay, so now I've got a micro SD card and I've got a mix on there. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in. We're going to go ahead and listen to see how this sounds. Now automatically the display will start counting down the song so it is active. So let's go ahead and turn it on here. Now this is non-copyrighted music. I do have the bass and treble all the way up. It appears to be a paper cone woofer as well as a tweeter. So we're going to go ahead and see how it does here. seems like a plastic body on here so it feels like it's going to be pretty rugged. Again you've got two selections. You've got your standby on the mic and then you've got it on. So it's kind of nice it has a standby feature. So let's hear our sound here. Hello. Alright. Sounds pretty good. And I'm using it here with ease. And uh, you can turn up the volume if you want. And I can add echo. So we're going to go ahead and turn it up a little more here. That's at 75% volume. Thank you. 
Very nice, actually. Now, this can play at the complete max volume, but from 75 to 100 percent, it's not a huge jump. So, I will say for the size of this unit, it's actually pretty impressive, including with the microphone. Um, it's really nice. So, if you are demonstrating products or you're doing a small little uh, function, this is going to actually play pretty loud. It is 20 watts, so it's not a huge amplifier on it. But it's going to last at least three and a half to four hours with the built-in battery that's in it, which is pretty impressive. That's at 50% of volume, so still pretty loud. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you with the LEDs now. I'm going to go ahead and turn it up a little bit. They are responsive to the volume that you have it on, so that way you can see it. The FM radio is a little on the weak side, so it won't play the stations indoors. It did fine outdoors, but it's kind of weak once you start to bring it into the house. But other than that, this is a nice, solid unit. It feels well built. Um, it is pretty sensitive on the volume. Mic and everything, you can easily tailor that to your liking. So if you do want to use this for a little mixture of karaoke. Now once you turn down the volume this will go to what they call a standby to where it just flashes it does its own thing. Once you start to turn up the volume it will start to respond to the music you're playing it which is okay but unfortunately to get all the lights to work up here you gotta crank it all the way up. But in any case if you don't want to use that again you can easily turn those off that way you can conserve your battery power as well. But if you are plugging it in, running on a little power pack, or if you got it plugged in the wall, you should have no problem with keeping those lights on. As far as the speakers, they feel like they're pretty good quality. Again, the bass is not super deep on this, but it doesn't do too bad for this being only a six inch woofer. And here's the included remote comes with a shoulder strap feels like a pretty good quality there here's the USB charging cable and it's only about two feet so it's kind of on the short side so you're definitely gonna have to have it close to wherever you're charging it and here's the manual tells you a little bit about the specs Tells you a little bit about the unit itself and its features, how to operate it, charging it, 
Now this is in multi-languages, so it's not going to be real detailed. It kind of tells you some of the specs there of the speaker, 20 watt output. Then it goes into the next language. So your English portion here is only about three pages, four pages. So that's it on the manual. So let's go ahead and take a look at the remote. And the remote's actually pretty nice. Taking the little sleeve out of here earlier, trying it out. So we're going to see if we can. So it powers it off with that ease. So we can power it back on. So now it's saying hi on the display. So then we'll go ahead and turn it this way. volume as well it is on the highest output so you can lower the volume so you can set the dial on the top and use the remote to turn it up from there and you've got your record button as well as your folder so everything that's on the top of the unit is here on the remote it's actually pretty nice you can play one song you can play all of them on your little SD card slot. You can pause it again. Kind of nice. So the remote does work to about 20 feet. Um, it's kind of skittish after that, so definitely within 20 feet you should be fine. Now it could be the fact you have to point it to this area, so I believe the remote sensor is here on the behind that display. So it's a nice feature. And one final thing it comes with here, they want to know if you're happy or you're sad about your purchase. As you can see, if you're happy about it, then they want you to fill out a questionnaire about the product, let them know what you think of it. Go ahead and put the straps on and we'll see how this looks here. And I'm gonna go ahead take it out here oh yeah the straps actually a nice length so you can easily put this on here and these are metal so it's going to be really easy to put it on and again putting that on is that easy and you've got the strap and with the strap help you carry it on your shoulder if you're using it at a party, on the beach, anywhere you want. Your music, you've got it. Really nice. So, I've got to take my hats off to uh, Blitzwolf. I've done quite a few of their products in the past. And I've been very impressed with their power banks as well as a couple of flashlights that I've done with this. Now this is definitely something different. It's nice to see that they're making some additional type of products in their lineup. And again, this feels very rugged. Feels like something that uh, you should be able to provide a probably a small venue, probably 20, 30 people worth of music or if you're just for fun on the go out and you want to have fun with your friends you know at a little small party you can get this out start singing this you know to YouTube they have a lot of lyrics channels on there where you can watch and sing to the lyrics as the song plays on this so it's definitely can bring a little life to the party uh, as far as ruggedness again I don't see any issues with that this feels very rugged Again, sound quality is not that bad for its size. Now I want to thank banggood.com for sending me this to review. Now if this is something you are interested in getting, uh, they have provided me a special discount code and that will help you save some money on this. Just look up right up on the screen right about there. 
that's going to help you save some money on this should you be interested in getting it. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these type of Bluetooth party speakers, portable that is, to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.